Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know I look a little crazy right now, but it's only because this is a Coachella inspired look. I've been dying to do a Coachella inspired look and I actually did one a few days ago, sometime this week, and I posted it on Instagram. And a lot of you asked me if I filmed that look and I did not because I couldn't wait to kind of do a Coachella inspired look. So I did it a few days ago, but I knew that I wanted to film today, get it up by today. This look exactly what I did. So it's very similar to the look that I did a few days ago, but it's just a different color scheme. So I went with like the purples and the pinks there. And I really wanted to do something super festive. And I love orange colors and like the terracotta colors. So I definitely went in with a lot of orange. I did the white liner. The fun thing about this look is that you can customize this look however the hell you want. Like if you don't want the whole ring thing, if you don't want the white liner, do you do whatever you want. But I really hope that this look inspires you to maybe come out of your comfort zone and do something fun, especially if you're going to Coachella. Um, I think this is super festive. And also I like my nails. Um, I really wanted to do something very vibrant for this look specifically. So I went to my girl and I was like, give me something Coachella vibes, something that screams spring and summer and fun. So she came up with this amazing, amazing little look here. All right, guys. So do not forget to subscribe and join the family. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this video. Okay, guys. So I already have my foundation on and everything like my highlight my contour so if you guys do want to see a foundation routine let me know in the comments below right now i kind of changed it up a little bit i'm not using like my usual foundation since it's kind of heading towards summer my skin has been a lot more oily now so you guys know that i kind of struggle with combination skin so yeah so if you guys want to see that let me know and um yeah let's get started so I've already primed my eyelids with the MAC Cosmetics 24 Hour Extend Eye Base. So now I'm coming in with Innocent, which is going to be my transition shade, and I'm using the Tarte Tardis Pro Palette. So I'm going to start here. And I'm just using this as a transition, so this does not have to be perfect at all. Just make sure it's light enough so that it blends really easy. And I'm using my MAC 224, which is one of my favorite blending brush brushes because it's so fluffy. All right, using the same brush, I'm going to dip into Whimsy, which is the warmest shade in this palette. With the same brush, holding my brush this way now, because if I hold it this way, I might get some, um, some eyeshadow on my lid. So if I hold it this way, I'm kind of preventing it. So again, keep my eyes open since I do have hooded lids. Um, if I actually put it exactly where my crease is, when I open my eyes, it's gonna be gone. So keep my eyes open and then deposit the shade this way. Again, keeping my brush downward. All right, so that is as blended as I want it. Holding it upward and then just blending avoiding getting anything off of it. So that is pretty good to start. I'm okay with that. Now I'm going to switch brushes and I'm going to come in with a much smaller brush and this is the Morphe M433. And I'm going to pick up a similar shade, but this is only because we're adding some more warmth. And if you layer on almost like colors that are kind of similar, that's what gives the blend a really nice, like seam seamless look. So I'm gonna come in with this one from MAC, and this is a single eyeshadow. I, don't, I forgot the name, oh my God, I just had the name. And I just got my nails done, so if this goes wrong, I'm gonna be pissed. Let me see what this is, give me one. Ah! It fell, hold on. All right, the name is Brown Script. Okay, so I'm going to just dab a little bit. Make sure to knock off the excess. And then I'm going, again, I'm gonna hold my brush this way and I'm gonna start blending this in. And not just in my crease, I'm actually gonna bring it in my entire, I'm sorry, not, my, not just my outer edge here, but like my entire eye. And then coming back in with my fluffy brush, always keep it near you because you're always going to come back and use it. So I'm just blending this. 
So I'm just grabbing a, I'm just using a Elf Cosmetics, um, like, angled brush. It looks like this. This has become, like, my favorite brow brush. And also to cut my crease, just like I'm going to do right now. And I've been into, like, those half creases because I feel like they're a lot easier to do. And I'm going to show you guys how easy it is. So since this eye, so this one's my difficult eye. That's why I do it off camera because it's, like, on the struggle bus, okay? So this eye is a lot more hooded, meaning that my lid is not as big as it is on this eye. So I always have to even it out. So this eye, I'm going to show you guys how I cut my crease. I'm going to leave my eyes open again so that I can see where I want my crease to be and so that I could go ahead and even them up. So I'm using a full coverage concealer and this is It Cosmetics full coverage. So I'm going to start right here in my inner corner, you guys can see. I'm super happy with the way that, that one looks. It looks a little messy here, but it's fine. We'll go ahead and clean that up. So now I'm going to set that before it does start creasing. I'm going to be using MAC Cosmetics Red Brick Single Eyeshadow right here and a flat shader brush, anything like this guy right here. It's not wet, it's just dry. And I'm going to pack this color on. And then instead of sweeping this I'm going to pat it first so that I can prevent any fallout I'm going to come in with punk and edgy um, I love glitter but I just don't like how messy it is and how like it just gets everywhere and I don't have time to like put on an, um, a glue like an adhesive and then apply like loose glitter like Unless I'm feeling real risky, I'm not doing it. So I really love how Stila came out with these because it's so easy to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually, I'm not going to use the applicator. I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand, just like so, right there. And then come in with a flat brush, just like this one. Oh wait, not this one, not this one, this one's sturdy. Um, another one, whoops, just kidding. Okay, so this one right here, and it's the same exact one. This is the Eyebrow Duo from Elf Cosmetics. Slowly gonna build that intensity on the glitter. And I'm starting midway. I'm using the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eye Pencil, and this is in color M22. So I'm gonna come in with Brown Script. Nylon by itself is very nice and vibrant already. But you know, we are going there today. We're going extra. Especially if you like, if you wet it with a Fix Plus, it's bomb, you guys. So, so bomb. Makeup Forever Metal Powder, and this is in, I don't know if there's a shade, but I'll let you guys know, but it's a metal powder. Okay, so I thought this look needed something, so I went in with Snow, which is um, Kylie Cosmetics Cream Eyeshadow in white. So I'm going to grab the same tiny little, um, um, eyebrow dual brush and then I'm just going to kind of draw a line from where my ring my wing liner would be so I'm gonna show you guys right here where my wing liner would be I'm gonna go straight and then do like a little hashtag or little lines in between completely optional it's whatever you want you're the one that's going to be rocking this look but I think if there's any moment to be bold is exactly for Coachella. I think that's a pretty good reason to do something like this. Doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. Just play with it.
Now for mascara, I'm going to be using this one right here, which is from Pacifica, and this is a water-resistant long lash mineral mascara. This is what the wand looks like. I've used this one before, and it's pretty good. Got my lashes on, and now to add more fun to this look, I'm going to come in with these that I just bought like at Michael's, like at any, um, what is it, like arts and crafts store. Um, and then I'm going to use my duo glue. This one's the one with the little wand. As I was looking at my finished eye look, I decided to take off the little slashes that I made in between the lines because I just like I just wasn't feeling it. So sometimes your vision just doesn't come to life. And then when it does, you're just like, er, it's either a hit or a miss. So I ended up taking them off, but I'm totally fine with the way it looks. I love the white line. I ended up cleaning it a little more. So yeah, let's move on to lips. So for lips, I'm going to be using the Aqua Lip Makeup Forever Lipstick in 17C. And I'm also going to be filling in my lips. Then for lipstick, I'm going to be using the new M Cosmetics Infinite Lip Cloud Lip Cream in Faded Clementine. Now that that's dried, I'm going to apply the um, Snow Cream Eyeliner from Kylie Cosmetics and the same brush I've been using this entire time. And I'm going to do that trend right now of having like the middle lip ring. I don't know what it's called. And I'm going to be adding some glitter on it so that in the light and when it hits, you just see like sparkle and you don't see just like a plain matte color, which is so defined by the way. But we're going to be going there today. So I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Fantasy Markers or Makers, I'm sorry, Glitter Eyeliner. I don't know what color it is or whatever the number is. All right, you guys, so that's it for my video today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching um, this Coachella-inspired look today. If you guys are going to Coachella, let me know in the comments down below. Um, on my fingers, I just did some dots, put some rings on, I kind of put my hair in a braid. I mean, I don't know how to do hair. Okay. So uh, putting it in a braid is probably the easiest thing for me. Um, putting a cute choker on and a cute little bralette. That's kind of the like the style that I was going with today. Um, yeah, don't forget to check the description box below because I do always post everything that I use. Let me know if you guys want me to start posting um, like direct links to the brushes that I'm using because I've only been posting the products. So let me know if you guys want that. And don't forget to like this video, you guys. Give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Subscribe on your way out if you haven't already. Make sure you subscribe and join the family. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one.